now to the Red Chambers, the sponsor of the Peace Corps of Nigeria bill at the 8th Senate, Ali Ndume, has expressed optimism that the president will sign the bill when next it is presented to him for assent. It was, um, he was speaking on Thursday at an event organized by the Peace Corps of Nigeria. Shagun Ujimu reports. The journey to here and now for the Peace Corps of Nigeria has been a long and tough process. Since 1998, it has endured all forms of resistance to its existence. But since the 8th Senate presented a bill sponsored by Ali Undume to the President for assent, things seem to be looking up. Unfortunately, the President never signed that bill. But all hope is not lost. I'm very sure that after going through this process again, which were, where the first reading has been taken, I delayed the second reading because I want to harmonize the various interest positions so that we, ha we don't have the uh, similar incident. As the Peace Corps inches closer to 22 years since its establishment, it is setting its sights firmly on the issue of human rights. This is because during the lockdown caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, dozens of cases of human rights abuses have been reported. We are for the Commission on 31st March and 9th April respectively, 2020 issued advisories to security agencies whereby they are admonished to carry out the enforcement of the lockdown regulations in line with international and national human rights instrument laws as well as international best practices. With due consideration to the fundamental human rights of citizens, the health workers managing COVID-19 patients and the security forces in the front line of enforcing measures put in place by the federal government to check its further threat should bear in mind that the true enemy is not their fellow human being, who happen to be the hapless mediums of transmission and affliction, but the miniature unseen virus itself. The National Human Rights Commission says it received, monitored and documented 209 incidents of human rights violations between the 30th of March and the 4th of May. It has taken steps to redress some of the complaints while others are being investigated. Shegu Jumu, Silverboard News 24.